What's up, everybody? Welcome back to All New Nerds. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already and like the video. Um, we're super excited today because we're uh, interviewing two of the crew members of Project Ewok Hunt, a Star Wars horror film. Um, we're honored to have Billy and Janelle on. How are you guys? Good. Thank you so much yeah. for having us. Thank yeah, thank you, you for having, coming on. Thank you for coming on. We're so um, excited. Yeah, so... I guess, what are your, yeah, I guess if you kind of want to talk about, like, what are your credits on the film? Like, um, yeah, what, what, will you, what will you be uh, be doing? Yeah. Um, so I, I'm a, I co-wrote the script, uh, which we, we locked recently, and I'm directing it as well. Um, so, which, you know, like, it's, like, independent filmmaking, so that's, like, a lot of things. Like, I'm also, like, building costumes and, like, preparing props and like all that kind of stuff too but you know like mainly co-writer director yeah and then I'm I'm the head producer on the film so I'm just like overseeing everything make sh making sure everything goes smoothly um and that we're ready for production sweet yeah okay um yeah so for people who don't know uh do you want to talk about some like story plots or what's kind of going to be the main story of the uh, of the film so it's uh, uh it's gonna be based off of uh, the Ewok on game mode from Battlefront Two. So it's a uh, pretty much the same like story hook. It's like you know stranded stormtroopers on Endor at night, um, and basically they are trying to find the evac point while they're being hunted, um, and they're like slowly coming to learn that um, like the Empire doesn't care about them and that they are basically screwed. Um, as they're like being being haunted by all these things going on in the in the woods. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's gonna be so. Cause I'm super pumped for that. Um, so yeah, uh, where do you, where can uh, people help you out? Like like I know you guys are in a funding phase right now. Um, I'll leave the link in the description for the actual uh, funding. But if you want to talk a little bit about the uh, funding, too. yeah, um, we're currently uh, doing a like crowdfunding campaign on Scene Spark, which is like this crowdfunding website specifically for films um we've got a lot of like cool incentives attached uh if you like donate 25 dollars you um actually you get i actually don't <laughs> <laughs> so 15 dollars is a social media shout out 25 dollars yeah. is access to our uh bts which we're doing on our uh, like close friend story on instagram so you yeah. like drop your handle and we add you to that um, Fifty dollars is our uh, our stormtrooper build vlog, which is like a lot of me and Wolf 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 and like a couple other Janelle and a couple other crew members mm -hmm. throwing together. No, all of us are like first time <laughs> armor costume builders. Like that sounds sweet. Like, that cosplay sounds stuff. Sweet. So it's like we're all in over our heads a little bit, but it's been yeah. Fun. Do you have like the legit kits, like the storm? Because I know there's like the whole cosplay. Uh, uh like phantom and stuff is there, do you guys have like the actual stormtrooper armor kits like are you doing it do. like that way or oh okay cool yes Let's see. awesome like, we've yeah. got building it oh sweet right oh, there. Helmet. oh, oh my so god cool. that's crazy <laughs> so much to do oh, but man. we're working on it it's, it's been awesome. really fun to figure out but definitely yeah yeah <laughs> we have a little difficult i imagine yeah yeah <laughs> that's cool great yeah but yeah there's like a there's a few other things there's like posters we're doing our um like our alternate posters so there's gonna be three of them um and we already posted the Blair Witch Project inspired one yeah. there's also gonna be a Saw inspired one and an As oh, Above okay. So cool. Below inspired one nice. um so those those are uh at a certain level and um mm -hmm. we're also gonna have that's outside of like our official poster that we're working on so there's like also you can get like a digitally signed official poster um yeah there's like a there's a bunch of stuff like we could there's a lot yeah there's a lot so yeah uh it, we'll, it, yeah like i said we'll really leave it in cool. the description yeah every tier awesome. that you get you get the lower one as well right like everything yeah. like if you do yeah. 100 you get everything to the look nice all right yeah yeah, yeah. so that's that's yeah. that goes for all of them except for some of our like higher tier ones are one of a kind um so like obviously you don't get those uh <laughs> for like if you go above but um yeah for for all the other ones you get everything below it as well Awesome. Yeah, I was scrolling awesome. through them, and there's some really cool stuff. If you yeah, get the money there's, to give, yeah, there's more than there's what Billy just talked about. So go go check that out. Um, yeah, so I we're we're gonna help you guys out too. So be sure to, we'll obviously be doing that. Um, so yeah, I guess uh we'll move on to like where, where did you? I mean, obviously it's from Battlefront Two, the main kind of idea. But like, what was your kind of inspiration? I guess, and like what um, 
yeah, what were your inspirations besides, I guess, the, the game itself um, for the project? Yeah. Um, so this this idea came out of, uh, so I, I live with Wolf Wolf Wolf. He's my roommate. We've been living together for like three years. Um, and we just like, I mean, like I've been in the film school here and like doing a bunch of stuff and we have been kicking around, like wanting to do something bigger for his channel together um, for a long time. And then we were sort of just like, like I'm graduating, I'll have time to do something. Let's like find something. And then we were just like sitting down playing Battlefront. We were like, oh my gosh, like this is brilliant. Like this is like, <laughs> this is literally like a found footage horror movie. It's like built in. Um, so yeah, then we decided, we started working through like some ideas for an Ewok hunt film. And then we settled on like the POV camera rig and the found footage style. Um, and so, yeah, like a, a lot of, there's, I mean, I'm a huge found footage horror fan. Our other roommate, Alex, is like, we watch horror movies like every night. So, and like, we're both particularly big fans of found footage. So like inspirations outside of the game are like definitely Blair Witch Project, which is like the classic of all classic found footage. Um, As Above, So Below is, a, is an inspiration, not so much like visually, but just in the way that they like create dread in that film where we're like really looking into to pulling inspiration from that. Um, uh, there's another one, The Taking of Deborah Logan, which is like a straight to DVD or straight to digital one from a few years ago that like really inspired some of the um, like specific storyboards that we've already created. Um, so yeah, and then sort of just, you know, any like monster film, forest film, found footage film, uh, sort of all like going into my brain and like <laughs> influencing it in some way. So yeah, and, and just awesome. like, in general trying to figure out how to like keep filmmaking because we're we're like filmmakers at heart in the middle of a pandemic and like figuring out what was the best story to tell when you can't really bring all giant crew together right right yeah 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 you're talking about that those head rigs for a second yeah i i was looking at those those pictures that you got they're crazy those things are <laughs> yeah. crazy those things are cool yeah that was a like how did you like do that, that? like those Oh, I was super blown away because, I, yeah, I mean, for people who don't know, I mean, I don't know if I even said this, but I'm also a film student. So, um, yeah, th I was, those are super cool head rigs. So I just thought I'd say that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that, that's great. Um, yeah. So Dylan has some questions as well. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, well, off. I just thought of one. Did you guys watch any of the like more niche animated Ewok stuff or like those like weird side movies <laughs> yeah. to get me? There's a lot of Ewok right. content that like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been trying to, I've been trying to like find a way to watch the, the like, weird Ewok movies um and I hadn't like found a way there's like some like weird DVD websites you can get them from but I was yeah. like I don't know but they're adding them to Disney plus pretty soon so yeah, I, yeah. I, thought, I, I didn't know yeah. that yeah. yeah they're adding all those things yeah so I think the yeah. holiday special too which uh Dylan and I watched like uh, yeah. in December yeah <laughs> <That> brutal. <laughs> that thing is weird. Brutal to watch. I don't know if, know if y'all watched that yet but oh man yeah it's yeah, we, we watched it as like our apartment a couple years ago. Yeah. And we were just like, oh, like this will be so funny. Like it's gonna be so bad. And then we were halfway through it. And we were all like miserable. And we're like, yeah, this is so <laughs> no, we were like, yeah, yeah Bill and I were through. defeated by the end of it. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're yeah. Oh, that's rough. This is terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we also did watch some of the um um oh my gosh, what's it called? The the like short animated ones that they have on Disney Plus. Oh um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're they're it's like all the like women of Star Wars and Oh like yeah. Uh, yeah. Like it's the Destiny, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there's yeah. a couple with, yeah. with Ewoks. There's like there's like a couple where like the Ewoks are like eating the stormtroopers. They're like <laughs> kind of horrifying. Isn't that for like yeah. so, little kids? Isn't that like a little <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, I know, okay. yeah. <laughs> I haven't I haven't watched those, so I'll have to Yeah. So have, we, we did watch all the it. yeah, all the ones involving Ewoks and we actually like actually drew quite a lot from from the few of those. So, <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Can't wait to see that. Nice. Um, so yeah, so if you each had three words to describe the film, just like the film entirely, what would they be? Oh, that's, that's uh, Janelle, yeah. you go first. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know, uh, like, uh, <laughs> like a horror <laughs> suspense. Um, I don't mean to put you on the spot, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the last word? Um, I feel, like suspense is, I feel like suspense is a good one yeah yeah suspense i mean horror is also an appropriate one but i feel like that's <laughs> it's a little too <laughs> on the <that> right <laughs> um 
Suspense. Um, Let's see. Suspense. I mean, it's it's like a lot of chaos because, like, you know, uh, just just any the game like, mode's chaotic. Running, so. yeah, yeah, right. yeah, the, yeah, it is definitely. But like, you know, like classic, like running through the woods with a camera, like you know, it goes everywhere and like um let's see hmm. also just like like dreadful i because i i love that in horror movies when it's like it's not just like ah like jump out scares but it's like one thing we're trying to accomplish with it is we want people to go in being like oh how can you possibly make ewok scary or like star wars scary and then like we want to really surprise people and we have like a few things plan i think go like further than people think that like <laughs> you could go um, yeah i don't want to really spoil exciting. anything i'm here for it but... I'm here for awesome. <laughs> that's awesome yeah great yeah. yeah yeah i mean horror is like such an untouched like part of star wars so i'm that's really great that you guys are exploring that so that's awesome yeah i'm excited too because um we have like a lot of nods to a bunch of just like star wars lore that we're trying to like incorporate into this like suspense and i think it's it's going to be really fun for audiences who can like catch these little nods sweet great that's awesome um so you guys kind of touched on this a bit but like why you walk hunt exactly like there's so there's a bunch of things star wars is huge you know and like this is such a cool thing to narrow in on like what really made you want to do you walk hunt I, it like almost felt ready made like it's it's already there it's like the concept is already scary the game mode is already scary it's like people it's an easy pitch too because people are like especially people know the game mode because they're like oh my gosh like that in live action totally would be scary um and it just felt it felt doable in like the mm-hmm. pandemic circumstances because it's like you know we're going to the woods and our crew is a total of like seven or eight people um and so it's like we can do it safely. We can do it like we're in California and we can do it in our state. Um, It's just like, you know, and like we can go to the authentic location and everything and like, it'll look great. Um, So I don't know. It's just like, like all those like little pieces, uh, like as we were thinking through it, sort of just like checked all those boxes and we're like, this is like a a good way to go with it. Yeah. Um, And then, and Billy, you've talked about this. We've like talked about this before, but like making a horror film in the Star Wars universe. Uh, it, I think it's really fun that we're playing with perspective in the Star Wars universe. Like this is after, you know, this great battle in like Star Wars history. And, you know, from the perspective that we see it in the movies, it's like a great time, like a huge celebration. But for these stormtroopers, it's terrifying, a terrifying moment for them, uh, which I think is like really fun. Yeah, actually, I want to make perspective one of my three words because that's like <laughs> okay, that's, All right. that's a big part of it. Because um, you know, there's like the from a certain point of view books, and like yeah. point of view is like a big thematic point in Star Wars already, um, and that is like definitely so like on a narrative level, putting us in the shoes of the stormtroopers who are abandoned. Uh, like meanwhile, the rebels are celebrating, but like also the perspective of like a helmet cam. It's something we've never seen. And I talked to the sound designer about this. I had like a like a pre-production meeting with him. And we were like, what does Star Wars sound like from that point of view? Because we've never heard. It's like always like a sweeping epic. And like Star Wars like would sound so different on the ground. Um, and so we're definitely playing with a lot of a lot of stuff like that that I'm really excited for. So yeah, I'm oh, retroactively sweet. making perspective <laughs> one of my words. So so we're going to get some much needed like Stormtrooper sympathy. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. maybe bit. yeah yeah we got that like mando a little bit uh last season for season two but yeah okay yeah yeah because i like already in star wars like you find luke and he like wants to go to the imperial academy and like right. he hates the empire like how many of these stormtroopers hate the empire but like have right. to or feel like they have a duty or or like we're like duped by propaganda or something like that um so i feel like there's a lot of interesting stuff to go into there too awesome Great. Um, yeah. So when do you guys, uh, what is your plan for like filming? Like how uh, we can talk about, I guess, the end of the uh, the date for the end of the funding. Um, and also, yeah, when are you guys planning on filming? Yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to like pull up our schedule or like calendar, but um, our, our, we're going to film like April 22nd to the 25th. It's just going to like be a weekend where the crew is going to drive all the way up to Yosemite it's gonna be really cool and we're gonna um we're creating like a quarantine bubble 
um, and filming at night. Uh, and then, um, yeah, and our fundraising campaign should ends on, I think, April 9th. Right? Is that correct? It's my it's birthday. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. But please help fund up for uh, April 9th. Um, yeah. So uh, I guess we kind of answered this, but like how, how deep into production, if you want to talk about that a little bit more, like how deep into production uh, are you guys so far? Um, so we, we have the script locked. Uh, we're doing storyboarding and pre right now. We're uh, um, going to be using some like Unreal Engine pre technology, oh, awesome. which I'm really excited for because I haven't gotten a chance to do that, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it sounds so cool. Um, so that's where we're, we're at in terms of that. We're like, I mean, I showed you the unfinished Stormtrooper helmet, so there's still a lot to do in costuming and, and that sort of thing, um, but we're, we're well underway with it um other than that we have pretty much like all of our production stuff secured we have you know like we have yeah, we know where our, our lights and rentals and locations and all that stuff is coming from um so yeah I mean it's it's like all about being being ready on the day when to like take advantage of the the time that we have in Yosemite um, yeah so yeah yeah and, yeah a little weekend have... little weekend trip up to Yosemite <laughs> yeah going to filming yeah. a a Ewok horror movie sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a good good week, but that's awesome. Great. Yeah, it's gonna um, be so much fun. Yeah, it's been really I, cool. Yeah, the Unreal Engine thing that's crazy too. So yeah, mm-hmm. how how are you doing that now? Actually, I'm just starting to think about that because that's for the yeah. previous. That's awesome. So so Wolf is like making Unreal short films. Like he he had the Victory and Death one recently. Yeah, that was uh, he's working with like yeah. That was that was great. I yeah yeah, and he's Check he's like working on that constantly and like he's he's learning like new stuff about it every day and like getting better at it all the time and so um me and the director of photography are, are going to be meeting with him um like this week actually to like sit down and like turn our storyboards into uh like unreal previs um so like i mean he he's like he has the technical know-how of all that stuff and like right. i'm excited to learn a little bit about it but that's all going to be him um but yeah so it's basically just like turning our storyboards into like a more you know like rather than my like awful stick figures and being like <laughs> okay this is kind of what it looks like it's actually having like you know like the models of like the the stormtrooper and like the ewok and like a forest environment with our like uh like intended lighting and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. yeah i bet it'll be yeah so much more helpful on set when you're actually filming so mm-hmm. that's great yeah, yeah that's so cool it's really cool because I feel like we we have a really great friend or like friend group like Billy's roommate is really great at VFX and is like has helped us plan this whole process and then he has Dylan who has been working with Unreal and yeah and then Dylan Mm. knows a bunch of people in that have been working on it as well so I feel like we got we're really lucky that we're surrounded by people who are so talented Mm -hmm. awesome yeah Yeah. so Right now is like definitely a probably a strange time to be a filmmaker given the pandemic and everything. Um, what's probably been like the biggest struggle in making it, even though you guys are kind of in early production? Yeah, I I would say we actually had to like push back filming um, because of COVID and everything. So just like figuring out how to get together to actually film something has been kind of difficult uh because we were going to film this in early january uh and it just it didn't work out with covid restrictions and like all the the second or third covid wave that happened um so we had to push it back you know and i guess like just working around that and working around something that we can't control at all has been really difficult Mm. yeah and then i mean beyond like the covid challenges just the the difficulty of like traveling a crew and like like having a set you know like four or five hours outside of LA because mm-hmm. if we find ourselves like oh we don't have this like charging cable or like this like power supply that we need or whatever like you know like that's that <laughs> and so like it's, it's a while out like of it's way, a yeah. yeah it's like it's like a whole nother level of like needing to be prepared um and needing to like have everything thought through which is why we did a, a test shoot um which is where the, the pictures of the head rig are from. We like rented the whole mm-hmm. system that we're going to be using. And like, 
uh, made sure we know exactly what it needs and exactly how to build it and stuff. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's just like just preparing for that. That difficulty has been tough. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, no, yeah, there's definitely I, I, I've also looked into yeah, just the code restrictions on filming is super difficult, and I, I think it's probably worse in California, I'd say too, with just everything. So, yeah, that's uh, that's tough. But I'm glad you guys are are getting it getting it done, uh, regardless. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, and we we've actually all like been able to to be on set during the pandemic, like with with all the COVID safety, you know, like crew gets tested and like has to provide proof of a negative test and everybody's like double masked and everybody gets their temperature checked and like checked in by a like dedicated officer who's there to like enforce the rules and like so we, we've like all been through all that for the last few mm -hmm. months um and so yeah like we're we're definitely gonna gonna know what we're doing when we like yeah. get get, get yeah. out there and like yeah. have to keep our set safe so yeah awesome nice um so how long do you guys expect the film to be and where and when uh should it be released do you think so it's probably going to be between six and eight minutes something around there um and we are uh we're, we're it, our timeline for for release is like very contingent on post-production so we we haven't like secured a specific date yet um just in case we end up with more challenges or needing more time than we than we thought but it'll we're looking at uh, late summer, early fall. Um, so mm -hmm. it'll be a few months after shooting uh, that we finally release it. And it's going to be on YouTube on Wolf Wolf Wolf's channel. Yeah. Awesome. And there'll be updates and stuff on your social media, I imagine. Yeah. Just like people can yeah. go there. Yeah. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're yeah, going to be the Instagram keeping our... too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Follow the Instagram Anyways, and the Twitter. Follow the Instagram and Twitter, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be keeping those uh, very active all the way up through mm -hmm. release and even after release. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll be keeping everybody up to date on there. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. Um, so you're all film students. Uh, what made you guys want to choose that as a career and just what made you want to become filmmakers in general? <laughs> Janelle, um, you go first. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I guess for me, I just, I love movies. I love TV shows. I was like a huge Tumblr fangirl when I was in high school, like spent all of my days like reblogging stuff about the MCU, like basically like Supernatural, all that jazz. Um, and so I, I, a lot of my life, I was like, I would decide what career I wanted based off of what TV show or like character I was obsessed with. Then I kind of just realized, oh, hey, <laughs> maybe I just want to be making the TV shows <laughs> and the characters. Um, so I would say that's that's why I just I really love and I, I'm like very passionate about storytelling. And I think it's it's really fun and it's great. Awesome. Yeah. I don't I don't mean to like give a corny answer, but like <laughs> I, I saw Star Wars when I was like six years old and I was like so blown away by it. And I remember I didn't understand like at all what went into filmmaking and I started just thought it was like oh you like take a camera and then you have actors um so I wanted to be an actor and then by the time I was like 10 or something I was like no no <laughs> it's like that's not <laughs> it um but I I saw like the Phantom Menace behind the scenes um and like I was obsessed with it I just like watched it over and over and over and then um I was just like I want to make movies and then I grew up like making like Lego stop motion shorts on YouTube and stuff which are gone unfortunately they don't oh, exist. No, oh no i was gonna I know. I know. think I, that no I, I have the uh i found the sd card with the pictures but they're not edited so it's like i don't have the videos but i still have like the the stop motion images um so i could i could rebuild them maybe um <laughs> yeah that'll be your next project after rainy this. days <laughs> yeah um awesome. but yeah it's like just ever since then it's it's like been all about film for me and then like in high school i had a great like group of friends who were like willing to like like make films with me um which was a blast and like yeah and then went to college for it so yeah here we are it's always awesome to hear like how star wars specifically has like inspired people its whole mm -hmm. life choices and careers uh -huh. like i have a lot of friends who think very yeah. similarly and i guess me too so that's mm -hmm. awesome me too me yeah too. <laughs> yeah i think my my theory on that is that the original star wars is just like it's like so like scrappy and against the grain in terms of like how they made it and like that's not like true of star wars anymore because it's like the biggest brand in the world now yeah. but like the original was like against all odds like 
I forget the the name of the Fox executive who was just taking like an enormous gamble on it, but like he was like mm. sac like he was like putting his career on the line to like make this like weird sci-fi thing and like George Lucas like ruined his life over it and like <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be good and then it was and like I don't know I think there's like something about the spirit of something like that that like yeah. really like gets people interested in and in, like not just enjoying films but like making them for mm-hmm. sure yeah I'm still blown away every time I see a new hope just like how ambitious yeah. it was and just it's awesome mm-hmm yeah that that was uh there's a documentary like i think it's uh, I, it's called like something empire or empire of Fun, the stars Disney or Plus. something yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah that one that, that's yeah. a really good documentary that yeah george lucas yeah. just like a lot of it was just yeah stressed out and stuff which i mean obviously that's kind of how most of the filmmaking process is just a lot yeah. of stress but um <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so yeah uh so is this like your i mean you're just kind of talking about like you did a couple films i guess this can apply to both of you but um billy you're mentioning that you did a lot of films um you know during your high school and into college so i guess is this like your first like big project or like besides that like what else um have you worked on at, at usc and stuff like that um so this is probably the biggest project i've directed um i'm mainly a producer uh most of the time mm-hmm. Um, I've directed a few things, but but they've all been like a few hundred dollars and we're just like shooting in somebody's house, like that sort of thing. So this is this is the, the biggest thing that I've directed, but Janelle and I uh, produced together a lot and we we worked on some like bigger things. Like this past weekend we were working on um, like a proof of concept trailer for a feature. Yeah. It's like costing awesome. a lot more. It's like a lot bigger <laughs> and we like, you know, like paid crew and everything. So um we've like we've we've done like a few bigger projects but yeah this is the the biggest one that I've been in the the director position for yeah I guess for me this this film yeah I've I've directed or I've I produce mainly um and I've been as Billy said we've produced like some things with like bigger budgets but I think this project has been really fun because usually a lot of the budget goes to like camera stuff um and uh, but for this project, we've had to really like use so much of the budget for props and trying to make sure that everything is as accurate as possible. So it's been like a big project in trying to figure out how to make art as great as it can be for the like for fans, you know. Um, so in that way, it's been like pretty challenging, like having to build the whole Stormtrooper <laughs> costume. Yeah. yeah. That, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's like definitely like even even like the the bigger budget projects and stuff um are like much more traditional than this like this is like a very Uh like the the head rig is like a really non-traditional way to film and there have been a lot of like unique challenges with that and like you know going to the woods is like (laughs) I guess not non-traditional because like a ton of people do that but like um it's not easy so like, yeah it's, like this is definitely like on the more yeah, like holding all the equipment end. back and forth I, I imagine it yeah, and just whatever, yeah whatever else yeah I imagine it's tough yeah but, just uh... being in the woods at night like there's there are definitely going to be challenges with that um yeah. also it's scary yeah, yeah. yeah. a little bit <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah I mean if yeah. we're scared then the film will be scary so right that's, yeah. true. that's, yeah. that's a good way thinking. <laughs> yeah that's awesome great yeah. um and we also have like a much smaller crew for COVID reasons and also just like trying to like haul an entire crew up five, six hours away. We have to make sure that it's not huge. So that's been a challenge in itself and only having like a few people. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I wanna know what was your first experience with Star Wars with both of you, well, whoever can go first, but what was, yeah, what was your first experience of star wars how'd you get into star wars all that stuff so yeah, yeah. Janelle, you want to go first <laughs> okay um <laughs> yeah so my dad was a pretty big star wars fan growing up and i think i i actually like remember the prequels the most um and it wasn't until i was older that i think i could even like appreciate the originals um because mm. i like until i was like aware of the filmmaking process and how much how hard and difficult it must have been for them to like make it but I definitely um I remember the prequels a lot like a lot of my friends were obsessed with the prequels and I was on the fandom side of Tumblr so like uh (laughs) 
like it, my best friend at the time was like obsessed with um Anakin and all of that jazz you know uh so I'd say that's like what I remember the most is is the prequels yeah I I touched on it a little bit before but I, when I was like six years old um I like had like a super minor surgery, uh, but I had to like spend a week recovering in the hospital. And that was like, like as like an energetic six-year-old, I was like bored out of my skull. And like, I remember my mom went to the, it was like a children's hospital. So I had like a, a big library and stuff. And she went and got um, A New Hope on VHS and like brought it up and I watched it. And that's the first movie I can, I'm sure I like watched movies before then, but that's the first one I can like remember like committing my full attention to for the full time um and it just like totally blew me away I was I was like transported by it and I I had like a blast with it um and I watched it like over and over and over again over the next few days uh, and then from there on I was like just obsessed with like everything Star Wars um and I have like a really clear memory of uh I was seven when Re uh, Revenge of the Sith came out and I have a just I like that whole theater experience I just have like super super vivid memories of um so yeah I don't know there's there's like a lot of points over over my like film lover slash filmmaker career where I can remember like Star Wars being like a huge influence and like a huge driving force um behind like my passion for it so yeah awesome yeah that's great um favorite Star Wars uh film what's what's our what's our out of out of the nine or I guess in the spinoffs what a Favorite this is always I? a hard question for everyone. This is a hard one. I know. I, I, I yeah. If, if, if this was the way around, I'd probably, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. I got, I got to go with the original, just like New Hope. Um, because like I, I would say like Empire is like the better movie if I was like trying to be objective. Right. But like a New Hope, just like, like back on back on that whole uh you know like blood sweat and tears filmmaking that like really inspires me like a new hope just like so is that um and like what it meant to me personally and every time I revisit it it's just like like the magic like hasn't died even with the special editions I'm like you can't kill it with the with the awful CGI as hard as you try <laughs> but um the Java CGI and yeah yeah yep. um but yeah so I I gotta go I gotta go original nice yeah, I would I would say like even though I I didn't like remember the originals very much in my childhood, Return of the Jedi. When I like finally watched it as an adult, I was I was blown away by it. The Ewoks, you know, I love that movie. <laughs> the Ewoks, they're so cute. I think it's just like a really fun film. Um, so yeah. Sweet, sweet. Um, yeah. Uh, so since you guys are making a Star Wars fan film, I assume you've at least watched a couple of the other Star Wars fan films out there. So mm -hmm. um, out of those, I guess you can name some of them or, or, or your favorite um, Star Wars fan film. I, I love everything that Cinematic Captures has done. Um, oh my gosh, like they're just incredible. Um, it's it's just like, it blows me away to, to see what like, like just a person that like in their house on their computer can do like he, he has like a team yeah. and stuff that helps him but like oh my gosh it's just like you don't need like a studio to make something amazing anymore uh, which is just really great not that you ever did but like something like that polished um you can just like make on a program at home uh so yeah I, I love all of his stuff um and then there was oh my gosh I'm forgetting the name of it but there's like a like somebody made like a Star Wars anime that's like oh I know yeah I think I know talking about. yeah talking you know what about, it's called yes yeah. uh, I, I had no idea oh, no it's so um, good oh, I, I'm gonna try to find it so I can like give him credit but <laughs> yeah. I used to watch that when I was bored in like high school oh like, really so yeah sick. I just like crazy. like put my he headphones in and we just got, let it go yeah oh my we got Star Wars Visions coming out too so hopefully I think that's gonna be you know similar so that's cool yeah how about you Janelle yeah um I would say I like am um I would probably say like the same as Billy, cinematic captures stuff. Uh, I remember w during our test shoot, we watched this. Billy, do you remember the name of the film we watched during the test shoot? Um, oh, it was a um, uh, it was a Star Wars theory, Vader, not Vader. Yeah. Oh, the, the yeah. Vader episode one, yeah. That, yeah, that would that would just really like good. the amount of 
of like time and effort that that they put <laughs> I thought that was really incredible <laughs> yeah 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 that's I, I those are honestly my answers I, I think don't we I think we all kind of the same thing it's like cinematic yeah. captures <laughs> and thin theories uh yeah. Film, yeah yeah that's great yeah I, cinematic I, uh, captures like he he's crazy I yeah the yeah. work like and I think he's making like a bunch more projects I think he's coming out with um he's doing an unreleased episode of the Clone Wars he's yeah. like doing that oh yeah, oh, yeah that, that's Engine, so oh I yeah. cannot wait though but anyways yeah yeah, so I, I I just looked up Star Wars anime, and there's like quite a few different ones. The one I was talking about specific, specifically was uh, Tie Fighter. Yeah, um, yeah by yeah. Oda King. That yeah, it. that's the one. Yeah, oh my yeah, god, it's so amazing. good. Yeah, it's it's, it's like so beautiful. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, all right, I don't know if you guys are gonna have an answer to this one, but we threw it in. But uh, <laughs> who's your favorite Ewok out of all of them? Oh. oh. <laughs> oh my gosh i forgot the name wait <laughs> yeah ju- i don't remember a single one of their names I but know. <laughs> there's the i think i saw like the princess <laughs> yeah that's mine yeah princess, yes. princess, princess is it nisa or kanisa i don't know if you pronounce the k is that from one of the animated shows yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll throw a pic- we'll throw she's, a picture of awesome. <laughs> yeah 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 there's one where she's like brandishing a knife and like jumping across stormtrooper helmets like a like a picture that somebody drew and i'm just like that's amazing yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like- super sweet <laughs> how can you not love it yeah yeah, I'm, I'm glad you guys are continuing the, the Ewa content because that was like i'm pretty like they did a lot of, like there was an animated series i think in the those two movies right it wasn't like during the during the like 80s and 90s but yeah that's yeah. awesome so there's a lot of future star wars projects coming out uh which one are you guys most excited for oh yeah it's a long I, list it's like, a lot there's like 15 i yeah. think there's so much there's a there's lot so much stuff <laughs> i'm i guess i'm like really excited about the obi-wan kenobi tv show for one um mm-hmm. just because he's like my favorite hayden character. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be dope. Yeah. Um, but like I I love the MCU, so I'm really excited to see Kevin Feige's movie that he's producing because it's the first thing he's gonna be making outside of Marvel. Um so, but also I don't know if there's like anything out about what it is exactly. I think it's gonna yeah. be a team up movie. It's a mystery, um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm I'm excited to see that, whatever it is. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty torn between Kenobi and Bad Batch, um, because Kenobi like Obi Wan was like my favorite character growing up, and like as I've gotten older and just realized like how incredible of an actor Ewan McGregor is, and like everything like everything that's like more mature that he's in, like I'm like oh my gosh, I love this guy, like I can't <laughs> wait to see him be Obi Wan again. Um, but yeah, Bad Batch too because. Uh, I love the Clone Wars and the Bad Batch episodes are so excellent. And I, I love the best thing about the Clone Wars, in my opinion, is the individuality it brings to the clones. And I just mm-hmm. like, it makes it so much more tragic, like Order 66 and all that. But it's just like, there, there's so many amazing characters in there. And like the Bad Batch are just um, like the epitome of that. Like they're so unique. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really excited to see what they do with that. And I, I also love like the period of time between like, episode three and four when like the the whole galaxy is just like going to imperial imperial rule um so yeah that'll be really cool to see yeah we haven't gotten too much of that like like yeah i i think like bad batch like this is like right after revenge of the sith pretty much so mm. it'll be yeah i i same with me i bad batch like i'm more excited than like book of boba fett i know it's kind of like uh which one are you more excited for but like a bad batch all the way yeah it's gonna be mm-hmm. And and the animation is like crazy. It like it, yeah, it looks so awesome. nice, looks so incredible. crisp. So yeah, yeah. May fourth, so, May fourth. <laughs> um, I guess this is technically the last question, but we might have some more. Um, but other than Ewok Hunt, what Star Wars project would you like to make, or are there any other plans for a future project? If you don't want to give it away, don't worry about it. I know you're not. I know you guys are already haven't even filmed this. Right, exactly. Yet. So. <laughs> So, um, I mean, like my, my like dream, like one of my like dream, like projects in my career would be to like do like a actual like canon Star Wars horror in some way. Um, but actually, so Justice, who's uh, my co-writer, one of the producers and one of the actors, um, 
we we have like kicked around some ideas and like i don't know if we'll have like the time or like the resources to ever do this but we we would love to do like a trilogy of star wars horror films in each of like three main um eras so like like ewok hunt would be the uh the civil war like galactic civil war era and then we have we have an idea that i won't share just yet for like, <laughs> that's fine that's era. fine that's fine Got yeah it. and then one for the sequel era as well that's um, awesome and yeah like who knows we, it's it's like it's hard because like we don't get paid for this stuff so like you know yeah. our, our lives could go in such a way that we can't uh like justify making them but yeah we we are still like working on them because they're just fun to think about and fun to work on but yeah that would be a, a dream come true to do those mm-hmm. awesome yeah. yeah sounds so cool yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I'm just thinking, like, top of my head, like, for, like, prequel stuff, like, uh, some, like, Geonosian. Cl- cl- yeah, the brain cave, worm thing. Yeah, the caves, the yeah that'd be worm. cool. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah that's, uh, oh, that'd be really cool. Yeah, I would, yeah, I mean, it seems like, I don't know, like, seems like Star Wars is maybe going to start doing a little bit of horror, maybe with the Acolyte, um, for instance. Mm-hmm. So True, true. That'll be, that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, it seems like they're, they're starting to do more uh, dark side stuff or delving into that mm-hmm. a little bit more, but, um. That was all the questions we had. So, <laughs> is, um, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Is there anything that like you guys want people to know that we maybe didn't touch on, or just really anything you think you want to throw out there for people to know yeah. about the film? I guess if you're yeah. just if, if you're interested in the project, just donate <laughs> to our students' <laughs> work. Um, like we said, we're trying to make it as accurate as possible. So like the Stormtrooper build is um, like any, your money would just be donating to the, those portions really like making accurate props and costumes. Um, so if, if, you, if you want to and you can support the project by helping us out donating. Yeah, and then like even if you aren't able to donate like just sharing it um, yeah. or, or like following the accounts is like, so so helpful um I just wanted to say like I've been so grateful to like for the response like uh uh Wolf posted like a a teaser that we cut together um on on his channel and like the comments on there are just like so nice like they're so positive and people are like really responding to it um and like the the first live stream we did people were just like so friendly and excited and we're doing another one this afternoon um so I'm like I'm just excited to continue interacting with with all the like star wars fans we're just like excited to to see this um and yeah so thank you to everybody and thank you to you guys for, for yeah. having us on your show like, of course, no, thank you guys no, for thank coming you. on yeah thank you for having yeah, yeah when johnny was like this looks sick I, and i was like yeah, I, yeah I, I actually <laughs> did one on like yeah. you guys you need to look at like it, oh it's so insane yeah. yeah i watched the watch the teaser on wolf's channel and um yeah so I was, I was super excited and blown away. Yeah, and I checked the li- live stream. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be great. And yeah, um, yeah, Battlefront too. I just I just started thinking about Battlefront too. Like, what what were your? Did you like the game originally? I mean, I I guess that's not even a question. No one did. But like, <laughs> like oh man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember tough. the the disaster of it. Yeah. I was following close. It was just like it was almost like fun to just watch like ea flounder like, I, it was sad to see like a, a star wars game like not be all that it could be but um yeah I'm, I'm like so glad that they put in like the care to it to make it so much better and like that like ewok hunt's like kind of a unusual mode to put in a game like that and i'm so glad that they did um yeah it's very yeah, it's, a, it's a blast yeah yeah um but as a as an enormous fan of the original 2005 Battlefront 2, I was quite disappointed at the beginning. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, don't blame you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah, playing Ewok Hunt in the dark is like a whole different experience. It is scary. That, they did that, pretty like, a pretty scary. good job. Yeah. Scary. It pretty yes. scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Don't I played that mode a lot? Yeah, it's it's. It, it's it's super cool uh, yeah what a creative idea and i'm glad you guys are putting it into a a, a film version so mm-hmm. super cool um yeah i guess without though that we'll 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 wrap it up um thank you so much for coming on or i guess dylan did you want to do the outro i'm sorry no it's I'm all sorry. you man <laughs> sure okay all right see I, all right so i always end these awkwardly but thank you billy thank you Janelle, for coming on we really appreciate it um yeah we'll leave all the, all the links in the description um for the fun page and all the instagrams and twitters and all that stuff so 
Uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, uh, and we will see you uh, later. I don't know. All right. Yeah. All right. Aaron, may the force be with you. Bye, everybody. See you.